everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I am here with a journal. I have not cranked out a journal in a very long time. I confess this one's taken me quite a while because I actually got the cover done way back in October. I finally just was at a place where I felt like I could finish this book. I had a lot of fun though making this cover. I had been watching a couple of other people who rebind paper books and how they did it. So this one has a very special cover. It is made with a blue linen, uh, blue gray. It's kind of depending on what you're seeing, but there is a little bit of blue to this. And I'm a little bit color blue color blind, and I can even tell that there's blue undertones to it. So what I've done here is I used my Cricut and some heat transfer vinyl that was in a kind of a gold tone and put that on here. And this is the spine. It has all these beautiful butterflies going up the spine. And then on the front, it says Librairie, which is French. And I probably totally did that wrong. However, unlike our word in English library, it doesn't mean a place where you borrow books. This is actually a bookstore. And that was what I wanted for this was that this is full of books. It is a book book, if you will, or a book journal. So let's get in. It does have five signatures and I have not put a lot of, uh, I, I can't say I haven't put any lace in here. I did put a little bit of lace in here and it has this beautiful pink rose colored, peachy colored uh, headbands at both ends. It is five signatures with six pages each it's about 120 pages front and back and then inside i have tons and tons of goodies so i have lots of pockets this is a kit that is also available in my etsy shop so if you're interested in making your own version you are welcome to go grab that from there and i use some old book pages i believe this is French or this is Spanish so some of these uh, I had just had some old book pages that were random book pages not from a book specific and you'll see that there's a couple of different pages in here that have books on them and then on the back side it's it been left blank so if you pull these out you actually do have room to write behind it or the backs of all of these are a plain white blank so you could uh, write things on the backs of all of these. I have plenty of my 28 pound acid neutralized coffee dyed paper. I also use that to print on. Uh, so pretty much everything in here is acid free. I've done some stickers. These are not printed on. They're actually stickers that I have. And I've done some different stickers throughout. And then some of these were cutouts as well. Uh, this just has a card inside of it, and it's just a little paper bag. Again, more book-themed things. I did do a couple of book ruffles in here, so there's a few of those. I have um, all of these. There's lots of cards and tags throughout this kit as well, and then matching uh, pockets, different things. Uh, again, center of the signature, I did my five-hole pamphlet signature. This is actually a upholstery thread that I have then run through beeswax so it won't slide out. There's a variety of things. Again, some more tags, a different size of book pocket, and then there is a different, I think these are just beautiful with all the books and the flowers. So a bit more, again, I didn't feel like a book journal should have a ton of lace in it so I didn't actually put lace in these book uh, belly band this has actually a fold out so that's something and then this is an envelope that has a tall tag in it if you will again that is blank on the back so you can write on it maybe write something you don't want someone else to know Maybe a little secret. Again, lots of blank pages you can write. I know I have friends who say that they turn these pages like this sideways and write on them and use the lines. So if they have lined pages, they do it that way. 
more, uh, I mean, just tons of ephemera in here. I, I'm not even sure how many pieces of ephemera are in here. There's just a lot. <laughs> just a lot. Another sticker up here, old book pages again. Um, another decorative piece here. Some taller tags. I do have quite a few of those in here as well. And then a variety of different uh, journal cards. Here is, let's see, so this is the other ledger paper. Here is another ruffle, um, another sticker down here. And so you can see I've wrapped each of the signatures in a, a decorative piece of paper, and then there's a second decorative piece of paper within each signature. But the backs of these are left blank. I love this gold tone that's actually just done with printing. Again, another sticker. This one is a doily that I folded up a little bit and has, uh, so this isn't the same stack as this, but it's similar. They're not quite the same. So there are several books stacks. Some more uh, ephemera and pockets, old book page with some decorative pieces on here. So this isn't horribly decorated. I left wanted to leave lots of writing space. That's one of the things I see a lot of people say, oh, there's lots of writing space. Well, okay, not really. Again, another belly band, and this one has both the uh, folded card and then another envelope that has another card within it. So we'll tuck that one back in real quick. Um, and then this is the other side of that doily. I just tucked a tag in there. Another tag and another card in a pocket. So with these shorter pockets, there's plenty of writing space even up above it. And any of the backs of any of these would also work well. They also work great for putting pictures on the back of them. If you want to have a picture in there and you can take it out and then look at the backs of it. So these are some more, I mean, isn't that gorgeous? I love these. this book set. Um, another uh, book ruffle. And then as I put a sticker on the back of that page. And then I think we're down to the last signature with book pages and whatnot. So every signature has an old book page in it. And then another fun kind of other piece. I didn't want to do all book pages. So again, coffee dyed with acid neutral. This is actually kind of fun. This is an old um, kind of a paper clip, if you will. And I've tucked some things up in, underneath that. So there's two cards under that one. And you can certainly take that off. Um, it's just a challenge. Oh, no, nope, here we are to the last signature. Again, tags and cards galore. Blank pages, stickers. Oh, I had to include this, of course. This is tracing paper that I've coffee dyed. I always have to have one piece of something that's going to crinkle in there. I love that sound. So there are small ones, mediums. Um, I actually have two tall tags here. I'll probably move one of those. Let's move that to another place. I didn't realize I had two of them stuck together. Some other, I'm not even sure what this is, what language this is, but another book page another piece that i've glued there some more ephemera we'll just go with that um, another one and this actually is a flip out so that is on the um, tracing paper and that's another book ruffle another sticker and at the back here we have a tag and another piece. And I think I'm just going to stick this tag in here as well. So now we have two tags and a card in that pocket. And then in the very back, we have even more. We have a couple of cards. These are, this is a very large card. They're all different sizes and then a tag as well. And that is this library or librairie book 
that I have created. It is in my Etsy shop, unless it's marked sold in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through, and I hope I've encouraged you to be creative today.